Here we have a CHS HS315 hybrid controller. Uh, we're just going to give you a little demonstration on how this unit works. Here we have the Kubota engine, GAC actuator, and a Zanardi PMG alternator, 1500 RPM. We also have a bank of batteries in the base of this little hybrid unit, uh, 48 volts DC. That's the battery bank that we're going to be running off of. Here we have a, a DC load bank, purely just to, to drain the batteries. Now at the moment, uh, this unit will not start until the batteries get down to approximately 47 volts. So let's put some artificial load on to bring this battery voltage down. At the moment you see that we are pumping out almost 40 amps of load. That's coming from the batteries, none from the generator. So we are dropping 47.9, I'll chuck on a little bit more load. So we should call for a start any second now because there is a start delay. So we're at 46.7, here we go, we're starting. So it's started and uh, it's going to close the breaker automatically now and it's going to go into a bulk mode. So in a bulk mode we've got it set to 25 amps. How that actually works is um, the battery capacity that we've told the controller is 50 amp hour. So we've told it to charge at 50% of that, so which is 25 amps. So you can see we're pretty close to our target right here. This is the battery temperature here as well. We put an offset in that as well for voltage compensation and current compensation. So if we go back to the main screen, you'll see that we're, we're pumping out 46 amps on the generator, 25-ish has gone into the batteries and we've still got this amount of load. So you can see here the engine RPM is 1856. I'm going to put more load on, as you see the engine increases speed, but we still hold our voltage, or we're climbing to our set point, so we're maintaining our target. So now the generator's punching out 70 amps, 44 is the load, but 25 is going back into the battery, so this is the total. So it's going to stay in this mode until we reach a voltage set point of 55.68 volts. So you can see here we're going to enter out of this mode shortly. So we're going to leave this real load on. This is an indication of how full the batteries are. So this will recalculate, but when we get to 55.68, you'll see a timer start and then we'll go to an absorb mode. What happens then is we'll maintain the same voltage set point and we'll stay in that mode, but the current will decrease until we get to a low current set point of approximately 12 amps or 12 minutes in time, whatever becomes best. So we're approaching this set point, so it's in relation to the 84% of 50 amp hours. So we're coming very close to our set point and we're still maintaining our target. We're just about hit it. Okay. So now we're changing modes. So what's going to happen now, we're in absorb mode, I've got it set for 12 minutes. We'll maintain this same voltage set point, but now the current will start to decrease. So it'll stay in this mode till we get to 12 amps. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to introduce some, some wind or some solar. So at the moment you see there's zero. So I'm just turning this on at the moment. You will see this value starts to come in. So we'll still maintain our voltage set point here. So here it comes. So now the engine is slowly ramping down speed. So we're maintaining our voltage, but now we've got nine amps of, of solar or wind coming in. We're still charging in our charge algorithm. Now we're only at 20 amps, but the total generator capacity now is dropped from this value. So I'll kill the solar again, and you'll see that we maintain this set point, but then the value of this current comes over to the generator. So you see now the generator is picking up the excess load, but we're still maintaining our set point. So you can see now how the, the current is reducing now down to 18 amps. We've still got our voltage set point we're maintaining. So we've still got eight minutes left, or do we get to our 12 amps? So you can see we're still maintaining our voltage set point of our 55.68. Now 
Now, the time period might come before the, the low current set point because we had it set at 12 and a half amps all this time, whatever expires first. So 18 seconds left, we're gonna to go to a, a, a float mode, but in float mode, we're gonna change this target now. So this target will be set to 114%. So as you can see, we're now approaching our new target because we're gonna be able to go into float. So 54.72, we've got it set to 114% of 48 volts. So you can see it ramping down now. We've only got the timer set for one minute. You can set that timer for an hour or 10 hours or whatever you'd like. So we're now approaching our new target because we're never gonna set, we're never gonna charge in float as high we wear, as much as we wear in bulk. So we're at our target. And now you look at the current. So you can still see the generator's punching out 53 amps. Nine amps is going into the battery. 44 volts is going to, uh, 44 amps is going to the load. Okay, so now the breaker's just open. So as the breaker's open, now the, the, the load itself is coming from the batteries. So it's going to start its discharge again because it's... So that's the charge cycle now completed. So we go to MEO2. It's completely done because that was 100%. Now we're draining back again. That's it.